Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. My name's Carnage, and today we're going to be discussing statues. Uh, this is a problem 90% of people playing Boom Beach have. Um, so we're going to be going through the real, starting off with the real basics, starting from what is a statue, how do you get them, and then we're going to be moving on to some of the more complicated topics, like power stone chance, is it worth having, if it is, when is it worth boosting, what does that boost actually affect, we're going to be going through all the percentages of it and all that sort of thing, nothing too complex though. We're also going to be talking about uh, troop damage and troop health guardians and what situations you want to have e e each one. Um, we're also going to be going through when, you, when you're going to want to be having each type of statue. So, we'll jump straight into this. Um, to get a statue, you're going to want one of these buildings. It's called a sculpture. You get these very early on in the game. I believe it's like... Uh, I believe it's HQ like 5 or something like that. It's really early on. So what is a statue? A statue is an object you place on your base and it gives you a boost in a particular thing. So for example, if you had a statue with true uh, building, building health, we'll start with building health. As you can see, I have one here. I have 62% uh, building health. So every one of my buildings, if you look, you press on the information button. The health of my building you can see in purple there. I, it gives me an extra 5,704 health. Now obviously each statue does something different, that's troop health, that's gunboat energy, but you get the idea. Now you might be wondering, well how do you get a statue? Well to get a statue you need what's called a power stone. To, to get power stones there are percentages and I will go through them later. Um, you get them when you destroy buildings on bases or when you destroy the HQ and you will find out how many you got at the end of the attack when you win. So there are three different types of statues. There are three different types of statues. There's an idol, there's a guardian and there's a masterpiece. Now idols are the worst one you can get. Masterpieces are the best obviously and then there's guardians and they're an in-between but there's a catch with masterpieces you can only have one of each type and I'm not talking like one green statue one blue one red one purple I'm talking there are different types in each category and I'll go through them in a second in in ice ice is defense so in in this category there's two different types of statues there's building health and there's building damage now I can't have two masterpieces in building health or building damage but what I can have is one in each category so I can have one building health one building damage and if you wanted wanted any more then obviously you'd either have a guardian or an idol depending on what crystals you have available to you Guardian being the preferred choice. Now, there are four different categories. There are there's life, which is green. That's dedicated to the resources, uh, resource buildings on your bases. So, there's gold, wood, stone, and iron. There's a building on your base that can make each, uh, and these statues boost that. So, if it can make 500 gold an hour then it'll give you a boost on that. There's ice, I've already went through ice, there's building health and building damage. So this is ice categories or defense. Now there's uh, magma. Magma is troop related. So there's two different categories. There's troop health and troop damage. Then there's dark. Dark is what I call miscellaneous. So it can be anything. Um, at the moment, there's only three different types of statues for this category. There's Power Stone Chance, which 
is obviously all these at the bottom to make your statues. There's resource reward that gives you a bonus uh, on the amount of loot you get when you win an attack. So f for an example, if you were going to win 100,000 wood and you had a 50% statue, you'd get 150,000. Um, there's also gunboat energy. Now if you don't know what gunboat energy is, when you do when you launch an attack, we'll just attack anything here. Of course the owner is online. Gunboat energy is this little number down here in the bottom right hand corner, it says 99. You can use it to do whatever you like when you do your attacks. But that's what gunboat energy is. You can see that down the bottom here, the gunboat. So that's what each statue, that's what all the categories are. Now, to make a statue, you can see the number at the bottom here. You need seven. So, then there's three different types of crystals. Uh, sorry, there's three different types of stones. There's fragments, which build idols. There's shards, which build guardians, and there's crystals that build masterpieces. And you need seven of each stone to make that corresponding statue. Now, to get, to get the crystals, I've already said, you destroy buildings on bases or the HQ itself, and when you win the attack, there's a certain percentage that determines whether you get the crystal. But there's also one more way or well two more ways you can get them in VP rewards you can get them when you do submarine drops you can also get them one other way if I had seven of these fragments I'll do it with this if I had seven of these fragments and I chose I didn't like the statue you get two options you can either deploy the statue onto your base or you can do what's called a reclaim now if I reclaim it if I, if I built one of these idols, which is seven fragments, I'll get, if when I reclaim it, I'll get a shard, because that's the next one al along the line. Now, if I build seven of these, if I have seven of these shards, and I build a guardian, and then I decided I didn't want that, when I reclaimed it, I'd get a crystal in that, in the, in the red, because I, it was a red guardian. Now, you might be wondering, well, there's nothing else after crystal. Well, if you reclaim a masterpiece, you don't get a crystal, you get what's called power powder. Now, power powder doubles the percentage of your building. You can see these two here, my, my ice ones, my blue statues, they're glowing at the moment. What power powder does is it doubles the percentage of your statue, so... If you look at it, my, my one's currently 62%. It started off being 31%, and that power powder lasts for a set period of time. Now, doesn't matter. Um, each category has a set amount of time that the boost will last for. In green, it lasts for exactly three days, which is 72 hours. Um, uh, blue that lasts for eight hours red and purple that lasts for three hours now you can boost more than once so you can double or triple or however much you, time you want to add you can add it to it so if you look at this my boost the, the amount of time my boost is going to last for is 14 hours 46 minutes that's because I've boosted more than once so the time gets added on. Now, that's that's all the basics on statues. Now we're going to go through what you need and when, and we'll we'll try to cover this really quick. Um. So, green statues is probably the first statue you're going to get to build in the game. I really suggest you don't build them. Um, the amount of extra resources that one of these statues can give even the best possible masterpiece is not very much now 
if you if you were to get a a dark masterpiece in resource reward, the amount of extra resources you can get in one attack is more than what one of these green statues will give you over the period of an entire day. So you you don't want green, you want resource reward. If you want to put a green one on your base just until you get one of those, you can. But that's the only situation I'd be using a green statue. Now we got ice. Ice is one of those tricky subjects. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, I really recommend there's only two situations you want to have ice on your base. Um, if you, if you want to get extra intel for your team, you can have a cup. You can put a couple of ice statues on your base, and that'll give you intel. Um, another good situation is if you're maxing out your defense and you want to start VP pushing. That's another good reason to have ice. Um, but don't for a second think that an ice statue is going to make up for having bad defenses. If your defenses are under leveled, then no no amount of ice can save you. Um, we'll go back into this. Then you got magma and dark. These are offense related statues. Gunboat energy, you always want to have that on your base. Um, the amount you need um, is going to be dependent on your combo and stuff like that. But the last one we're going to talk about here is troop health and troop damage. Now, which one you're going to need is going to depend on your combo. For, so for example, if you're running warriors, you don't want troop health. They don't have much health to start with. The power is in their, their shots. So you don't you want them to, to take out a HQ with as little shots as possible. So in that situation, you'd have want troop damage. However, if you're running tanks, then you're going to want health and damage. Health mostly, that's being the more preferred choice because a Scorcher or a tank relies on having a lot of health to take the hits. Um, then there's Hooker. Hooker, you don't want troop damage, you want troop health because the power in that combo is how long your heavies can stay alive. Once your heavies go down, if there's any splash damage buildings, they're going to take out your Zookas pretty quickly. So, um, and then, so if, even if you find another combo, you need to really work out where it strengths at and that sort of thing. And that'll tell you which one you're going to want more of. Um, so now we're going to go through Power Stone Chance. And to explain that better, I'm going to go to this page here. There's a topic on the Supercell forums. If you go to Boom Beach, Statues, there's a um, there's a sticky uh, forum post saying Statues. It's posted by Tim from the Supercell. He's a moderator. Now, the Power Stone statue is really good to have, especially if you have more than one. You'll get lots of uh, crystals, or not lots of them, but... It's almost guaranteed if you have 200 or 230% worth. Um, is it worth boosting? I'd say on a case-by-case -case basis, if you've got lots of stuff to clear on your map, then yes, definitely. Especially if you want more crystals. Um, but in regards to Terra, some people have said it's not worth boosting for Terra. I definitely agree if that's all you're going to do with it. Now, the reason is, if you read this... Uh, Power Stone statues do not affect Dr. Terra and Lieutenant Hammerman. Both Terra and Hammerman levels have some predefined Power Stones, which you'll get every time. But on top of that, there are a few regular random drop chance Power Stones, which plus Power Stone chance will improve your odds of getting. So... In English, what that means is, I don't know why they put Lieutenant Hammerman there, because he does not drop stat uh, any so any form of crystals, or power stones for that matter. But Terra, what that means for that is, there's chances, which I'll go through at the bottom here, but 
when you destroy a HQ, you have something like 25% chance of getting a any sort any sort of stone. With Terra, that's a predefined value. So when you destroy the HQ, that that amount's always going to be the same. But when you look at here, you get a regular random drop chance. What that's referring to is when you destroy a building. When you destroy a building, you have a two percent crystal chance. Uh, sorry, a two percent chance of getting any form of power stone when you destroy a building. So if I boost, if I boost my uh, power stone chance to a hundred percent, that two percent chance of getting a stone when I destroy a building will go up to four percent. So that's you might get an extra shard or an extra uh, fragment, but that's about it. So we'll go through the percentages just really quick, and then we'll call it a day. Um, every building, including destructible barrels, which is the supply crates and stuff like that, has a 2% chance of dropping a power stone of some sort. And the HQ has a 25% chance. Fragments. Now here's where you get to see the percentages of which stone you're going to get. You have an 85% chance of getting a fragment, and remembering back, fragments build idols. You have a 12% chance of getting a shard, and shards, remembering back, they build the guardians. You have a 3% chance of getting a crystal. So there's an example here for you. If you have a 100% power stone chance statue, which that doesn't exist, but for an example, of course, if you'd have a 4% chance of getting uh, something from a building and a 50% chance from get getting something from a HQ. And of course, the, the percentages are just above here in case you want to go back through that. Um, but yeah, that's... That's our guide on statues. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've tried to give you as much information as I could. Um, so I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Push the Press that like button. Um, post your comments down below. Just tell me if you enjoyed this sort of video. Um, if you did, I might be able to make more. If you tell me what you'd like to see in the future. So this is Carnage signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next one.